I, I went, went to, to Disney, Disney jail, jail, and this is that story. There are a lot of different ways you can find yourself in Disney jail. Some, Some are, are weirder, weirder than, than others, others, but no matter the reason, it's not a place you want to see. I was just a freshman, and it was me and my friend, and we went on our first friend, you know, little trip vacation. So my friend decided to wear a tube top because A, it was hot, and B, she was trying to look cute. And that wasn't the best idea to do, but at the time, I wasn't thinking about it. She wasn't thinking about it. So me and my friends planned a trip to go to Florida. I have never been to Disney. I've never even been to Florida. So I was pretty late, and I was excited. I'm like, oh, I'm so ready to go. Let's go, let's go. We get to the hotel. The hotel's big, lit. Everything's looking nice. We like the spark up get mellow get lit get you know so i'm like okay this is gonna be a good time baby so we went to disney world my friend was like all right look i have this brownie i was already lit i was at full capacity i was just hungry i wasn't trying to get higher i just wanted to eat the food he didn't even tell me it was edible i ate that sh so quick i was like mm, worst mistake shouldn't have eaten the whole brownie it was the week that the Donald Trump animatronic was being unveiled at the Hall of Presidents and I happened to be going down with my family for like Christmas vacation. For those of you who don't know what the Hall of Presidents ride is, it's really just an excuse for like tired parents to like force their kids to take a nap for 20 minutes in the park. It's air conditioned and it's a whole history of the presidents, the United States. And then at the end, whoever is the current president recites the uh, oath of office. So we went to the infamous Splash Mountain, got on the ride, everything was going good. We were you now screaming and having a good time laughing. And as soon as the, the picture part came, we decided to do the hands up pose, like, oh, we were going down. And honestly, that wasn't the best thing to do. I heard her like say, oh my gosh. And, like from the corner of my eyes, I could like see her like, bring her arms down and like hug herself. And I'm just like, did that just happen? Like I knew what happened, but I didn't want to believe it, okay? As the ride was slowing down, I was like, what happened? She was like, my top went down. So when we were waiting for the ride to slow down and to stop, and you know, like the little bars and stuff had to come up, like she was about to like lift the bars of herself if it was possible. We had to hurry up and get out before anyone else got it. Cause you know, kids are fast. And we like rushed to like the little monitors. And that's basically what was on the monitor. And it was so embarrassing. I've never had an edible in my life. So I, at this point, I am just wigging out. I'm seeing all types of stuff. Everything was very amplified. It was like a lot of beautiful light colors, brown colors. I was wobbling around like this. I already got a bad leg. So you already know I was a lean with a rock with a lean with a rock with it. Families were staring at me like, who the hell and what the hell is this? So as soon as Donald Trump's animatronic started saying the oath of office, I stood up and started screaming, lock him up lock him up lock him up i would not stop until they shut down the ride uh which they did <laughs> okay so we're blocking monitor and you know of course some people want to be nosy because people can't mind their business kids coming over and we're just like no sorry you cannot see this monitor and it wasn't even to be mean but it was like it's for your own good because <laughs> We're probably gonna get in trouble and your parents are gonna get mad. And next thing you know it, these two people came, I guess secret, undercover people, whatever. And they're like, we need you um, two to come with us. And I'm just like, what? Like, I was so scared. And I was like, okay, so where are we going exactly? And so they're like, you know, we have to take you like to Disney jail right quick. And my heart sank. Like the only thing I could think of was, okay, we're gonna have to pay a fine. We're getting kicked out. I was so scared. So I ended up going to the side by myself, kind of trying to find a way to get away from everybody. And I'm like, let me just roll up again. Cause maybe I'm bugging. I start rolling up again. And then this guy comes up to me, he goes, hey, come with me. I'm like, who the hell is this? Who the hell are you? There were lots of kids crying because, and lots of parents crying too, because I definitely interrupted their kids' naps. Most of the audience didn't like me. There was, I remember one burly man coming up and being like, if you don't shut up, I will beat you up or something like that. And I was like, okay, come on, that's a puppet. And then I was carted off to Disney jail. And so they led us to like this room. It's not like a, you know, a theme jail, as some people might say. It's no, it's a small world playing. It's none of that stuff. It's no bars. It's just a regular room, a desk, little decorations, I guess. And that's it. It's just there's lights, there's, there's windows. So at this point, I am just wigging out. I'm seeing all types of stuff. I was hallucinating OD. When he was interrogating me, I felt like the Crypt Keeper was interrogating me with all these eyes. When I kept seeing this like little girl at the corner of my eyes, she was little, she was dressed in white, and every time I was turning around, she was just there at the corner of my eye. I felt like I was in the scariest dark ride of the park. I think once they realized I was not a legitimate threat, they were like, you 
can go. But they did say you can't come back to the Hall of Presidents ever. And I was like, I mean, how would you ever know? But I mean, I would love if there is some picture of me in like the Hall of Presidents entrance that's like, this person cannot enter. And so she decided to let us off with a warning. She was actually really super nice. She gave us like some candy afterwards. So, and that made us definitely feel better. We honestly didn't get on no rides after that. But after I said what I said, they were like, they kind of banned me, they banned me. The real jail is the outside world because I'm banned, I'm clipped. They banned me for a whole year. Tucker Carlson's Daily Caller, whatever website, called me the saddest man in America. But and then like a week later, Salon.com said I was like the voice of 2017 because I was like this person screaming into a dark room at something that wouldn't be able to hear me or do anything about what I was saying. <laughs> So I loved that. I thought that I was like, that's perfect. That I can I can die happy knowing that. <laughs> My advice: don't wear a tube top to Disney World or any amusement park in general. Wear one with straps.